Hi guys, this is the second part of the feature release for RAD40, which is going to cover RAD40 granular VPN domains, our new central deployment capabilities, and lastly, one that we're really excited about, RAD40's support for Checkpoint IoT security. Let's get started. Thanks, Danielle. We will start with granular VPNs. Until today, we define VPN domains per VPN gateway, which means the domain is shared across all peers in the community the VPN gateway is a part of. RAD.40 allows you to override the VPN domain of a gateway for a specific community in order to keep the community secure and not expose the whole domain network for just one instance. I created a new community, added the supplier gateway, which is our specific instance in this example, and now I will override the gateway VPN domain in that community. That is extremely useful, Michael. Let's move on to the central deployment tool you mentioned earlier. Of course. The central deployment tool is still alive and kicking, and as we know, very powerful. But what I want to share with you all today is the new GUI central deployment capabilities we have. This allows us to install hotfixes and jumbos on security gateways and clusters. What I'm looking for is the hotfix I've been instructed to install for various gateways and clusters, and I want to do that in parallel. You can see we have two simultaneous tasks being processed with different jumbo hotfixes for each task. I also want to mention that, of course, this comes with full API support. Definitely makes life simpler. Michael, you seriously have to show us the RAD40 support for Checkpoint IoT security. This one is really exciting. All right, Danielle, you asked for it, so here it is. What we're looking at here is how we can enforce IoT policies within the RAD.40 Smart Console. We have integrations with innovative IoT discovery services, which reveals all our relevant risks to our IoT devices. You can see as I move into our security policies, I have auto-generated policies that are there. You can also create a user-defined policy for our glucose meter alert on our SSH traffic, for example. You can see we've specified the source, we added the SSH service and make the log alert so we can track it and go ahead and publish. We have all our relative logs associated with the device based on the policy we have created. Well, that about sums it up for me. As you can see, there is a lot to look forward to in RAD40 Unified Security. To learn more, visit Checkpoint.com or join the conversation at community.checkpoint.com.